So in my experience, one of the most difficult things for people to learn uh, isn't necessarily just conjuring the voices, uh, it's, it's putting the voices together in combination in, in rhythms and in time. Um, so this video is going to go through some basic practice techniques that just combine the three basic voices of the cajon um, and I will play them at, at length uh, if you'd like to play along. Basically we're just going to go through uh, four or five variations. Uh, playing the bass tones and the low tones together, playing the bass tones and the high tones, playing the low tones and the high tones, and then doing a combination of all four, um, maybe a couple of combinations to give you something to practice with. So we'll start at a slower tempo, um, and the first one is just going to be going back and forth. Um, your hands will basically just be going, um, if you're right-handed, right, left, right, left, right, left, or obviously if you're left-handed, left, right, left, right, left, right, um, and just going back and forth between uh, these combinations of voices. So we'll start with the bass tone and the low tones. doing this, uh, you know, you can try slowing it down um, or, or going half the speed that I'm going, but you really want to listen to the voices that you're conjuring and if you're not uh, getting the tone or the quality that you want, uh, you know, slow it down, uh, stop the video, slow it down and, and, and really focus on it. Um, maybe try, you know, try slowing it as, as slow as focus in on getting those tones. Um, the, uh, the second one will be going from the bass tones to the high tones. too fast, uh, you know, pause it and, uh, and, and try it at a slower, uh, slower tempo, um, but just be sure uh, for, this, for this exercise, for this practice, to just keep alternating your hands um, as evenly as possible. Um, get yourself a metronome uh, if you want uh, and, and keep time with the metronome. Um, the third, uh, the third uh, practice would be from the low tones to the high tones.
now, um, you know, I, I, I would usually just uh, go through those until you feel comfortable with each one individually. Uh, and, then, and then trying to put them all together uh, in, in one phrase can be done a number of different ways. Uh, but this first one that we'll do is just going from the bass tone to the low tone, back to the bass tone, and then to the high tone. Um, this will start getting your muscles used to going, uh, going through the different positions on the drum um, in time. So bass tones, low tones, back to bass tones, and then to high tones.